Hey folks, Mad Rabbit here in a new Let's Play. Gonna do um, Elder Scrolls Online, an MMORPG, massively multiplayer online. Okay, so I'm new to the game, just to let you know, and been playing it for maybe about a week now. Decided to start a new character. I have been playing with a Khajiit in um, the Aldmeri Dominion faction. I decided to do one from the Daggerfall Covenant, a Breton, because I wanted to do um, a sorcerer class. So. And the name of the guy is Rylo's Car. I'm going to show you his veteran gear. Gave him some body tattoos. Not that you'll ever see him. But just so you know. you know. Uh, let's see. Class, Sorcerer. Um, let's go down to the body. I'll just show you all this stuff in case you just want to see how I got to this point. But man, I don't know how many people are really concerned with that. I didn't do much with the, with the way of adjusting some of these things as you can see. Just uh, some of the more important sliders here. Oops, let's go back to the top. Angular face. Voice G. Hairstyles and whatnot and made him a little older looking. Well, a little bit of... Huh? What happened here? I thought I had him a little older than that. Yeah, I really didn't want all that wrinkles. That's why I went down. It gets a little extreme on the on the aging as you go up. All right, and anyway, I didn't want to bore you guys with all the details of um, the character creation episode, which is usually the part one of most of these series anyway. I just figured I'll do it on my own. I'll pick and choose my class. I mean, I know last time around I usually had people vote for that and that kind of thing in my previous uh, two seasons of the Skyrim roleplay Let's Plays and the Oblivion one. Uh, but in this one, I figure I'm going, to, I'm going to pick my own. So we're going to create this guy here. I am going to play the tutorial, and let's just like to kind of go over here what's going to happen with this series. I'm going to, um, it's going to be a let's play, but like at the same time, I'll try to role play a little bit because I know you're kind of used to that on my channel where I do a little bit of role play. So it's going to be kind of a slow placed uh, let's play where I'm going to try and go through just about every solitary quest that I can. Even if I'm not like gaining levels and stuff from it, just to show you guys kind of the whole experience for each zone. So it's going to be probably a very long Let's Play that could go on quite a few years. And uh, I may take breaks from time to time. Uh, there will be a playlist, obviously, in the description of each one of these. So hopefully you'll follow that and also can check out my older, my two previous Skyrim roleplay Let's Plays that you might enjoy. In the meantime, if you're waiting for new episodes, so um, in my Oblivion one and... Probably more. Yeah, I do plan on doing a Skywind one at some point also when that is actually released. Uh, if you're not sure what that is, we'll look it up. At any rate, um, let's just hit play. We're going to go through the introductory experience with Rylo's car. Um, most players, I mean, if you're new to this game, I mean, most players kind of go through this experience. It's in the Wailing Prison. So we'll do that. And I will, like, kind of explain some of this stuff along the way to you, like what this series is going to entail. It's going to be shorter episodes than what I've done on this channel for Elder Scrolls in the past. Normally I would go like anywhere between 25 to 35, 40 minutes sometimes in the past. But I'm going to do shorter episodes. For me, like I said, if you've seen some of my more recent update videos, I really kind of need a break from uh, things on here. And I think upload times are really what's killing me sometimes, you know. Um, I really just want to have shorter uploads but give you maybe more episodes per week or maybe give you two a day or something along those lines. It might just work out better for me. Um, I do like to play this game thus far in first person. So if you're wondering why I'm not playing around like a typical MMO like this, I um, mean from time to time uh, you'll see me in this uh, view, but very rarely am I going to probably do that. Just so you know, I, I'd like to the Elder Scrolls games and the immersion level and it just sort of you only really only get that when you're um, you know kind of in first person and I've been playing it so far this way and it's not been too bad so if you're I guess if you're looking for a guide to how to play you're not going to be getting a guide um, I'm not really obviously I'm still a beginner at this so just so you know and um, but in the case of this cold harbor thing, I may just try and um, go through a little bit more. All right, so this is uh... all right. I hope you've still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. We'll open this up. Killing prison. Dead. Must have been the 
the loot objects in the world. Yes, do that. We'll let her babble over there for a little bit. I'm going to look around here. Um, yeah, because you can make some money off the lootable objects, and, and early on you're going to want the money. So that is definitely what I'm going to do. I want to do something completely like, like a more of a pure mage. So I'm probably going to go with light armor, basically, for the, for the mage. And um, let's just bring up the character sheet here to commit points. Yes, we know about all that. I, am, I have leveled up a little bit. My other character. Probably concentrating on health and maybe a little bit magic early on. And I've not yet even gotten a horse with my other character, so I don't know a whole lot about that. I'm sure as time will go on, we'll pick up a little bit more. Okay, uh, we know about all this. Inventory space started out with quite a small amount. Stamina recovery, I'm going to actually just use this right now. Lasts for 35 minutes. That's just for selling. And here's your... your uh, I, I am sort of doing this like a little bit like a tutorial in case people haven't done this before. You're, you're just basically like... When you have actual items to equip, you just kind of drag them over here. And it's sort of like all the other Elder Scrolls games where you kind of level up based upon uh, what you're, you know, what you're actually using. So let's see here. Is there anything else I can loot? Doesn't look like it in this room at least. Search this guy. Cast off Iron Greatsword, which obviously I really don't want, but they're going to force me to use that. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is full of surprises. Alright, so we're following Lyris. She's an important character early on here. There you go, power attack. Keep moving. There are more Daedra on the way. No, I'm not gonna go Let's hurry on. Moving. I'm gonna search every solitary corner of this place. Please mellow out, woman. Alright. Let's go. Yes, I know. All right, calm down. So I will be letting like the conversations completely play out and probably follow, you know, some like all the little side moving. stuff from the conversations. You know, like this little side flavor stuff. So I, I know that might bug some people, Let's go. but um, I, I do plan on do, making this kind of like more of a let's look at the what the story actually is kind of a let's play. It's more focused on story than like being the most powerful ever that kind of thing I know a lot of people are into that for these games but I am just not I guess I'm just more looking for that story based experience yeah I know she's fighting over there I don't care you should not have jumped into combat woman there you go thank you very much let's keep looting these oh no I really gotta rechange the keybinds. I've not done that with uh, with this yet, so maybe get like one button uh, interrupts, and I think you can roll in it too. I haven't really done that. Hold a moment. Come here. All right, so that was the prophet. Sorry, I wasn't listening to that one. I was completely occupied with the looting. Let me just get the rest of this. My understanding now, I haven't really gotten to the point where I was able to do, to do much in the way of crafting with my other character yet. I've done a couple things with them. But I think you can you can basically craft all the different like craftable things. Let me just bring up, let's hit the K button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Crafting. See all the different crafting things? you got six different crafting things. I think you can level up all of them, if I'm understanding correctly. So... Those that you don't know about this, that's what you do. Alright. What do I want to concentrate in? I'm going to probably have one of these that I concentrate in, but I'm going to put one point into each just to level them up. That was one thing that was sort of suggested by a couple of the uh, couple of the guides I saw for beginner players. So, let's talk to Lyra's Titanborn. Oh, she's tall. The Prophet. He's a prisoner here too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. Must think you can help me. All right, well, help you do what? Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. All right, so where do we go from here? These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. 
That's where we'll find the Sentinels. All right, so what are these Sentinels? Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. Okay, so how do we destroy it? I have no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Bal left the Sentinels unguarded. Well, I have so many questions. I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. All right, so who is this prophet? He's a strange one, no doubt about it. But he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things. The past, the future. All right, so where is this place and where am I? You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, well, there's no easy way to say it. You're dead. Oh. <laughs> then how are we having this conversation? I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. Alright, so if I'm dead, who killed me? A man named Menomarco. His worm cult is doing some kind of ritual back in Tamriel. They sacrificed you and everyone in this prison to the Daedric Prince Molag Bal. After you died, whatever was left showed up here. They call you the Soul Shriven. All right, so what does that mean? It means you're a slave and you'll spend the rest of eternity here in Cold Harbor, working under the lash of the Daedra. Unless, of course, you come with me. Are you dead too? No, I wasn't sacrificed. The Prophet and I were brought here... conventionally, if that makes any sense. But we're prisoners here, same as you. Yeah, Mana Marco, you may remember that from, uh... It's Elder Scrolls 2. I never played that one, but I've heard of him. And he does show up again in Elder Scrolls 4 in a, the Mage's Guild storyline. Uh, interesting one. I think I did that with my character just recently. In fact, that's why I remember this. <laughs> Alright, so how can we rescue the Prophet? It won't be easy. The place is watched by magical constructs called Sentinels. We won't stand a chance unless we can blind them. I'll tell you more when we get there. And we'll never get there if we don't get moving. Alright, goodbye. Technically we're not. We should keep moving. Technically we're not leaving your side, woman. The Bleeding Forge. Welcome to the lovely Bleeding Forge. Am I supposed to talk to or rescue this guy? Alright, well she's got an icon in, in, over her head. I just sort of wondered about that. It's been a little while since I played it. I find this game, the combat, to be much, I mean, it's like, it's very refreshing. It's almost like a little bit of a mixture between well, what I've been used to, which is World of Warcraft up to this point. As most of you may, may have known from my channel, I had a lot of World of Warcraft stuff, and um, that was most of my experience in the MMO world. And, and a couple other ones I've tried to, they're almost basically carbon copy, kind of, the same kind of concept and thing. Um... But this is definitely refreshing because it's very much, to me, like basically playing an Elder Scrolls game but also having a mixture of MMO kind of mixed in with it, like kind of a little bit simplified from Elder Scrolls, I guess you would say, but it's still not bad, you know? And when you see the vastness of this game, when we actually get out of this kind of area, You'll, you'll see just it's a very large game and they're adding stuff like each year, new zones. So you'll see the overall map. I don't even know if they'll want to see it yet. No, they won't. Um, when you see the overall map when we get out of here, it'll be, it's quite large. Even just the areas we got where we have access to now. We leveled up here. Um, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. so we know about this. If you want to just pause and read these things, you can. For now, I mean, I'll do health in the first few levels, and I'll start doing some magic and stamina. Commit points. E. There you go. All right, now, like I said here, I'm gonna probably put a point into each one of these initially. Dark magic. Dark crystals bombarded enemy magic damage. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to go with this character. Unstable familiar. Uh, demerit. Adric, familiar to fight by your side. That's neat. I'm definitely going to be using that in the future. 
Storm calling. Let's have lightning damage. So, what does this actually do? Interesting. I'm. At, it seems like an offensive ability. But if I'm going to do an offensive ability, I think I'd rather do Storm's Calling. So that'll be our first point. I don't know what, which one I'm going to focus on yet, folks. But uh, we'll see as we as it, as this progresses along. So yeah, you do have like a hot bar, as you see here. Basically, press one to use the ability. It's you know like most of the other MMOs. So. All right, we got that. That's number one. I think I can remember it. Maybe, maybe we can. <laughs> 